what is up guys <clears throat> so in this moment in time i'm going to do a morning message for today which is april the 13th um this is gonna be for all signs um it's gonna be the usual spread but more focused towards everyone or at least the energies of the people that find themselves here so hello and good morning going to pull a mystical shaman oracle for today's overall energy i'm gonna get one card for today's energy divine one card for today's energy i hope all are doing well if you're looking for general readings for your signs for the month of april they are all done and you can go to the page and view one can i get them energy for today april the 13th 2020 all right let's see what we got time master so a lot of us could be very focused on time management energy management um very aware of where we are right now in time in life um, whether that be politically, spiritually, romantically, financially, there's an awareness kind of hitting all of us to the bigger picture. Alright, so I'm going to use the Fairy Wicca deck to pull some cards so we can see what messages we have for today. April the 13th. Can I get some insight, guidance, advice on how to best go about today for the energies of today? Alright, we've got the sun child. This is really like focusing on happiness. I'm needing to focus on our children more. And their happiness, I feel. It's definitely a time for that in life in general, I'd say. Not just today, but keep in mind, time is kind of timeless. It's not as linear as we think. So, you know, this is kind of the energy for whenever this gets to you. But I'm pulling it today and asking for the energies of today. So we can get another card here. Edit of Dom. This is usually my player card as far as low on the morals. I think a lot of us are realizing there's a lot of people, especially politicians or people in general that just their morals are blurred. I mean, if you just look at how we treat children and all these things coming out, you know, children being found hacked up, uh, child sex trafficking and stuff. I feel like this is the energy of those people and we're recognizing it and we're seeing the connection. Like, it's starting to make sense and I kind of like almost how it like is hiding the face. We don't know who these people are. They're manipulators. Like, we don't want to imagine that... And it's these people doing these things. Um, it's really kind of a heavy energy, but I mean, if you think about it, we're really in a heavy time. And I kind of knew I was going to pick up on that before I did this reading, but I mean, that's what I'm here for. Just kind of pick up on energy of heavy time so we can move forward. Yeah. I think we're all trying to find a way to move forward and... Some of us are angry and um, we want we want to know what we can do and what we can do now. You know, a lot of us want to know what can I do right now to make things better, to make this period of time better. So, you know, there's that. You know? That and I think a lot of us too, like just like the camera was kind of blurry, like how 
how can we make the picture clearer? How can we see who these characters are? You know, seeing is believing, unfortunately. Then get one good aerated shuffle here because the, the energies are kind of tense, intensifying too, but the, the energies of this are making me tense. Like it's not a light situation, that's for sure. It's going to take time to fix it also, the chariot. Yeah, a lot of us want to know what we can do, like I said, and what we can do now. This is also a card of, like, Cancerian energy. We want to charge ahead and charge forward, you know, but we <laughs> we can't just, you know, charge straight to Rome. You know how they say all paths lead to Rome. <laughs> we can't just go to Rome and fix it or stop it. But I think a lot of it started in Rome. You know, they say a lot of things about the Vatican and things like that, which really should make us question um, being blindly devoted to anything. Our trust is broken, uh, you know, and we want to take action. It's kind of like we all want to be a little Malcolm x -y right now when it comes to politics and and everything they're trying to force upon us. For very, yeah. I think we all are seeing things more clearly now when we're not liking what we're seeing. But we can't stop watching. You know, it's kind of like the shock culture. We realize we're kind of trapped in it. Pull one more card and get some clarification. Man, the advice here is probably there's no words for how important mental health is and honesty and trust the star I feel like this is just representing to the world there's no words for like how do you heal a whole world from the damage that's been done how do you walk away you know from issues like this um we try to learn from our past but you know, our past has been hidden and re rewritten, and I think we're starting to notice that too. Like, there's so many uh, smoke and mirrors here. The sweat lodge at the bottom of the deck there. Yeah, and we just keep trying to find the light and our way to the light and trying to see things as they really are, but sometimes it's really hard to look at, you know? I think that's the issue why a lot of people aren't aware of what's going on in the world because it's not that great when you look at it from a bird's eye view and a lot of people just don't want to see that but I mean we gotta do something we can't keep ignoring it the sun child what's the sun child here then this sun child card pops up in almost any daily or general message I do now the sun child the sun child I really think the cards are trying to kind of call out uh, the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds still. The Sun Child, Sun Child, the Lovers. See, and I was just thinking about it, but I was going to mention it. Like, those two families, I looked into uh, the family lines and um, they purposefully inbred their family over time, too. Like, a lot of these families and people that are these characters hidden, they're interbred. You know, they might be on that Hitler nonsense, you know, Aryan, one true supreme race. They just think it's their family. Edith of Dom. Edith of Dom. Kings and queens and royalty of old money elite. The Wheel of Fortune. I can't. I can't. You guys are seeing it for yourself. We need to be aware of these people, to educate each other about these people. Even when it comes to, like, Jeff Epstein. These fortunes are helping them hide their true character and the things they want to do. I forgot what state it is, um, Tennessee, where they're thinking about making it illegal for a man to 
marry a child. Child marriage to a grown man. Three of chimney. Three of chimney. These are major things a lot of people don't know is going on. The king of swords. Because, like, I feel like if you knew these things were coming in our future, most of us would want to stop them. But in order to stop them, we got to talk about them, right? And these things are trying to make them happen fast without anybody seeing. Behind closed doors. The chariot. The chariot, seven of pentacles. Yeah, we're trying to get some progress on stopping this. We want results. We want some money from the money tree, you know? Instead, it is like money's being used to be a cancer, you know? For there. It's like people think you can't get anywhere with it, but we're all abundant. We have technology and information and ways of doing things where everyone really can be infinitely abundant. And I'm not talking about um, world income or anything like that. Universal income for of air. Even though that would be nice. Four of air. Four of air. The hanging man. Yeah, we, it's like we don't know what to do. We're part of a circus we didn't sign up for, but we're seeing that now, a lot of us. We're coming together in communities and talking about it. Eight of UCs, even though they want to censor us, they want to stop that too. Eight of UCs, which is Ishka. Four of Wands. We all want more. But this also goes to like kind of like the child marriage thing again. Look at the little kid and how she's like trying to hold the little kid back and he's there. Does he look like he's trying to go for the grown woman or the child? Bunny rabbits? Come on, y'all get where I'm getting at here. And this is behind closed doors and it needs to stop. And it's went page of wands. Mmm, <laughs> tops that off. I don't really... I mean, I know this reading needs to get done, but I'm not a fan of this, this message or energy. But, like, we need to stop looking away and pretending that this doesn't happen behind closed doors. So, pulled you guys a fortune. It says, follow your instincts when making decisions. Yeah, we need to follow our intuition and instincts about who we leave our kids around and what we need to pay attention to. Seriously. Well, that's just not wanting to go there. But yeah, follow your instincts when making decisions when it comes to your kids, guys. I think that's the overall message. So beyond that, I hope your day continues to be great.